Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 4th of 2023. Well, it is titled Aurora over Icelandic waterfall. So what do we see here? Well, we do see the waterfall in the foreground and some of it reflecting the green light of the aurora up in the sky. Now, the aurora occur when charged particles from our sun strike the Earth's magnetic field. Charged particles don't like to cross magnetic field lines, so they follow along them, many of them being buffeted away from Earth, which protects us from the brunt of solar storms here on Earth. However, some of them do follow along through the poles and will strike the Earth at the magnetic poles where the magnetic field lines come into the atmosphere. They will strike atoms in the upper atmosphere and cause them to glow. And a primary atom that they strike is the oxygen atoms in the upper Earth's atmosphere. Not the oxygen molecules that we breathe, which are two oxygen atoms bounded together, but actually just individual oxygen atoms in Earth's upper atmosphere. And when they do that, we get this green glow. Now note that it is a glow of the sky. You can see stars directly through it. So it is not like a cloud. It is not blocking out all of the um, other things behind it. Although faint stars would be hard to see through its brightness. But it is just a glowing within our atmosphere. Now this occurs when the sun is active and in fact the storm that did this was just a few days before sending charged particles streaming towards Earth. Now this happened will happen more and more over the next couple of years as the sun has come out of a minimum of activity where it had much many fewer storms and is heading toward a maximum of activity a couple years from now. And as it does that, if, if as predicted, we get more, we will get more and more uh, solar storms, and some of those will be directed toward Earth, and we should see an increase in auroral activity. Primarily, aurorae are visible in the far northern and far southerly latitudes. So you don't simply, then you won't rarely would see them in a, in a, equatorial region, it would have to be an amazingly strong storm to be able to see them there. In the more temperate regions, you can see them sometimes when there is a larger storm that will deform Earth's magnetic field and allow the aurora to be visible further south. So it is a possibility as the storms get stronger and the sun gets more active that over the next few years, we will be able to see far more aurora at more southerly latitudes than the Icelandic ones that we're seeing today. So that was our picture of the day for July 4th of 2023. It was titled Aurora over Icelandic waterfall. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.